final approach is a managed lateral and vertical guidance mode dedicated to the final descent segment of non-precision approaches. Final approach guidance is available from the decel pseudo waypoint down to the applicable minimum or missed approach point, MAP. This common mode is the combination of approach nav, lateral guidance mode, and final vertical guidance mode. The flight crew must respect the FCOM limitations, the FCOM SOPs, the FCOM TRs and OEBs, if any, and the applicable company policy. You must refer to your company documentation to get the limitations corresponding to your aircraft. As for any other approach, the flight crew must check the associated flight plan, but several points must be reinforced. No modifications, including altitude constraints, from final approach fix, FAF or vertical intercept point, VIP, to MEP, all included, or runway, are allowed. When FAF is the two-way point, the from-way point must not be cleared. Direct to or direct to intercept FAF is permitted, but if the resulting turn is too sharp, this could lead to a descent outside the protected path after FAF. Let us review the final approach, final, and approach nav, arm in conditions. An active flight plan is defined, lateral flight plan for approach nav, and vertical profile for final. A non-precision approach is inserted in the active flight plan, such as our NAV, VOR, MDB. Here are the final approach engagement conditions. Final is armed by pressing approach on the FCU. Approach NAV is engaged and cross track is less than 1.5 nautical miles. The aircraft is within the capture area of the vertical profile from below constrained altitude up to constrained altitude plus 150 feet. Predictions are available and approach phase is activated and the cell point has been sequenced. Note, approach phase may have to be manually activated on MCDU perf page, if the approach starts at high altitude above aerodrome level. That is, RNPAR operations. The lateral and vertical profiles must be checked before using final approach. Let us review how to do that. Flight path angle FPA, segment and vertical intercept point, VIP, identification. The flight crew must identify the FPA segment, the VIP position the specified altitude, and the MAP. Check MCDU flight plan page as for any arrival. Note, the MAP may be shown as the threshold when close to it. FPA specified altitude. The VIP is the FMS waypoint at which an FPA segment starts, for example minus 3 degrees. This waypoint has always a coded altitude constraint that may be at, or at, or above. For example plus 3000 feet. This constraint is displayed on ND, in magenta, next to the corresponding waypoint, when the constraint key is selected on the AFIS control panel. It is also shown on the vertical revision page at this waypoint. Arming final APP. Final APP will arm by pressing the approach mode push button on the FCU. 
with the active flight plan containing a selected non-precision approach, MPA. Arming final PP when previously in nav mode. On FMA, nav will be replaced by approach nav, and final will appear as an armed vertical mode. At this stage no change will occur in the aircraft guidance. Approach nav mode is equivalent to nav mode. Arming final approach when previously in heading mode. On FMA. Heading will stay as a lateral active mode, with approach nav displayed as a lateral armed mode, and final will appear as a vertical armed mode. At this stage no change will occur in the aircraft guidance. Lateral heading mode and active vertical mode remain unchanged. Approach nav will engage when the aircraft respects the lateral capture conditions. Same conditions as for nav mode. Be on track before reaching the VIP. Engagement of final approach. Final vertical mode will engage, and final approach displayed on FMA when the aircraft respects the vertical capture conditions. That is be at the right altitude. A blue arrow is displayed where the final descent will begin. Note, if below, the blue arrow will be shown at the interception of the descent path, and not at the VIP. If the same arrow is shown in white, at least one engagement condition is not fulfilled, and final approach will not engage. As you already know, the lateral deviation to the flight plan is shown by the position of the aircraft symbol relative to the flight plan and the digital cross-track displayed on ND and the LDEV displayed on PFD optional for specific operations. In the same way, the vertical deviation to the vertical profile is shown by VDEV on PFD and VDEV on MCDU progress page. Summary Identify the waypoint, or pseudo waypoint, where the final approach will engage. Ensure that your cell point is sequenced and the FMS approach phase is activated. Be stabilized before the VIP. Horizontal flight plan interception. When in heading or track, the approach must be intercepted before the VIP as the VIP should be sequenced in approach nav, with aircraft established on the final approach course. Vertical flight plan interception. Be level at the specified altitude before the VIP. Summary. Continued. Modification of the vertical profile, altitude or speed constraint modifications, when final approach is engaged, is prohibited. When final approach is engaged, the vertical guidance follows the vertical profile. The FCU selected altitude is disregarded. Note, when the final approach mode is engaged, a maximum vertical speed limit applies to the guidance. Limit may be reached only with a strong tailwind. What if I am too high before the VIP? Final approach will not engage, so the aircraft will not descend. Therefore, bring back the aircraft on profile before the VIP using the appropriate vertical mode. What if I am below the specified altitude at the VIP? With an aircraft below the FMS flight path altitude, for example, the aircraft is vectored at 2,000 feet when the start of final descent is coded at 3,000 feet. Final approach will engage, and the aircraft descend, when intercepting the FMS profile. The top of descent symbol on ND will depict approximately the place where this interception will occur.
What if final approach is not engaging at the VIP? When all precautions above have been taken, including aircraft positioned laterally and vertically with respect to the flight plan, approach phase active, approach nav active and final armed, blue top of descent arrow displayed ahead of the aircraft. Then final approach should engage as planned. If, however, final approach fails to engage and consequently the aircraft remains level, this may come from one or more of the engagement conditions are not matched, or a problem has occurred with the FMS profile computation or the approach coding. In this case, Consider interrupting the instrument approach procedure unless required visual reference can be maintained throughout the approach. What if final approach is armed, but FMS approach phase is not yet activated? The FMA display will be correct, as well as the lateral guidance. The top of descent symbol on ND will remain in white while it should turn blue when final approach is armed with all conditions respected. The final vertical mode will not engage in this situation, even if the aircraft respects the other vertical capture conditions. What if final approach is armed, but FMS predictions are not available? Missing predictions can be due to the absence of one parameter such as aircraft weight or cost index. The crew will detect that predictions are missing by the display of dashes on the flight plan page. FMA displays will be correct, as well as the lateral guidance. The top of descent symbol on ND will remain in white, while it should turn blue when final approach is armed with all conditions respected. Final vertical mode will not engage in this situation, even if the aircraft respects the other vertical capture conditions. What if the approach starts at a high altitude above the destination airport elevation? There is no maximum altitude for the use of final approach, but when the diesel point is located more than 7,200 feet above aerodrome level, or 9,500 feet above aerodrome level depending on FMS standards, the FMS approach phase will not activate automatically when sequencing the diesel point. Therefore, the activation has to be done manually through the MCDU, otherwise, final approach will not engage. What if the actual temperature is below the published minimum temperature for the selected NPA? The FMS vertical profile is based on barometric reference bar OV nav. The FMS does not apply temperature corrections to the computed approach profile. Consequently, final approach cannot be used. When the actual temperature is below the published minimum temperature for the intended NPA and or if temperature corrections are required. What if the arrow is in white instead of in blue? The blue top of descent symbol on the ND shows where the system predicts that the aircraft will automatically start the descent. The same symbol, displayed in white, with final approach armed, indicates that at least one condition is missing for final approach engagement.